In this video, I'm going to try to make this geometrical shape on a sphere like this. I'm going to try to put it on a sphere. So these comma-shaped things represent proteins. This will be a polypeptide all folded up to make a particular shape. And they're not as simple as a comma. This is, of course, a way oversimplified, but it's much easier to work with than the actual protein shape. So three proteins go together. They snap together head to tail like this automatically to make what we call a subunit. So the triangle is a subunit. And then the subunits fall together automatically to make this 20-sided shape. So if we imagine this is the North Pole, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got a pentagon up here. And if I roll it over very carefully to see the South Pole, we have another pentagon. And then in the middle, we have this belt of triangles. So we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. 5 plus 5 plus 10 is 20. So small viruses might actually look like this. You might actually be able to see the vertices. They might actually look a cosahedral. But a lot of viruses actually look like a sphere, although they still have this geometry of how the proteins are put together. So here is our 20-sided icosahedral geometry. We're going to try to put this on an orange first, and then we're going to see how it can become more complex. So let's try to put this on an orange. Okay, here's my pole. It's nice we have these markers at either end, so the navel will be one pole. And I think first what I'm going to do is try to make a little mark where that's where my belt is going to be. And then if I just sort of go like that, make these first, I think this will be the easiest thing to do. Okay, there's one. Here's just a little tip. So you'll have to probably rub your marker if you want to try this. You'll have to rub your marker on a piece of paper every once in a while because the, the oils, the citrus oils, tend to clog the marker pretty quickly. And of course you can still eat the orange. You can peel this and just marker comes right off. So I'm not ruining the orange at all. Okay, so there I have my two belts. So let's see, I'll do this one first. I'll make, I'm going to make five wedges going out. Now let's see. If I divided it, if I wanted to divide it into six, it'd be easy to go one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and that would be a line straight down. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to move the line over like this. That's about right. Actually, these little wrinkles in the orange, some of them go just in the right place. Okay, so there's our pentagon. And then I'll do it on the other side. Now, the trick is I don't want these lines matching up here and here. It's not going to work. I want this line to be right in the middle of these two. So there and there, see the middle would be here, the middle of those would be here, and the middle of those would be there. Okay, so that's going to be easy. Now I have my little guide markers. Now I just have to connect these to these. This will be easy. Connect that line to this one, that one to that one, here to here. That'll give me my final 10. There. You could actually make this into a virus model. You could like stick cloves or something in there and make it into a little edible model. Alright, so there's icosahedral geometry on a sphere. And then again, here's our picture. So let's see 
what would happen if we got a little bit larger? So if the virus gets bigger, what it does is it adds more subunits, more little triangles. So this one has 20 triangles, this one has 60. So let's analyze this geometry. If this is our North Pole, we have a pentagon, just like the other one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. But if we move down, let's say to here, we find a hexagon. If we look at this point, we find it's surrounded by a hexagon. And then down here, we have another pentagon. So we have a pentagon here and here, sharing a side. But these hexagons overlap. They don't share a side. So what do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another hexagon. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this hexagon and this hexagon overlap, and this hexagon and this hexagon overlap. And we do have some more pentagons. Let's see over here. One, two, three, four, five. We have another pentagon over here. So if the virus gets even bigger, we go from 60 subunits up to 180. It'll always be a multiple of 60. It'll go to 180 and then 240 and then goes up to 720, I think, after that. So it can maintain this kind of pentagon, hexagon kind of geometry, but the subunits will look smaller in comparison to the size of the virus, so it will look spherical. And I'll just leave you with a challenge for those of you that love to do crafts. See if you can make one of these from Q-tips. You'd use a Q-tip for a length like this, and you can hot glue the swabby ends together. Start by making a pentagon, and then make another pentagon on the side, and then make these two hexagons, and see if you can keep going and have it form a sphere.